Hello everyone, welcome back to our Power BI channel. Here we are covering DAX function in this series. In the previous video, we have studied some financial functions. And in today's class, we will also study some more financial functions. So here are the topics guys. So firstly, we will study XIRR, which is interest rate on return. And let's go to the data view guys. And I have created one small table here where I have taken projects, dates, cash flow and interest rate. And now go to the Microsoft web page. So if we read about the definition guys, this function return the internal rate of return for a schedule of cash flow that is not necessarily periodic. And now look at the parameter guys. So we have to follow these five parameter to apply this formula. If I scroll it down guys, you don't need to afraid to look at this formula because we have very easy steps in Power BI to calculate XIRR. And now let's go to the Power BI desktop. Now let's apply this formula. Let's go to the practical page and click on new measure. And let me rename this as XIRR DAX. And now I will apply my formula, which is X I R R bracket start. So look at the parameter guys. The first parameter is table. So our table name is X X I R comma. The second parameter is value. So under value guys, we need to enter the cash flow column, which is from the X X I R table comma. The third parameter is dates. So we have to enter dates here which is from the xxir table comma and the next parameter is guess so you guys can skip this step because it's an optional one and the last is alternative result so you guys can put it alternative or either you can skip it as well so let me skip both the step and close the bracket so guys our formula has created here let me drag and drop it here and convert into card visual so we guys can see our result is minus 1.00 so in this way guys we can calculate xirr in power bi it is very easy to use and commerce background guys can easily relate with this formula and now move toward the next topic of our class which is xnpv which is net present value so we will calculate xnpv on same data set so let's go to the Microsoft DAX page and understand the definition of XNPV. So guys, it calculates the present value for a schedule of cash flow that is not necessarily periodic. And here are the parameters guys. Table, values, date and rate. And if you look at the formula guys, so it is very easy to use in Power BI. So here is the DAX function guys. So in this way, we can use this XNPV formula. Now go to the Power BI desktop and here I will take one new measure. And let me rename this as XNPV DAX function. And now I will write my formula which is XNPV. So the first parameter is table. So our table name is XXIR comma. Now the second parameter is value. So under value guys, we need to enter the cash flow column comma and the next parameter is date so we need to enter date column from xxir table and the next parameter is rate so guys we need to enter selected value function here to enter interest rate and now i will simply enter my column name which is interest rate and close the bracket and press enter so here is the formula guys now let me drag and drop it here and convert into card visual and if you want to convert into percentage guys so you guys can also change it into percentage so in this way guys we can calculate x and pv in power bi and now let's move toward the next dex function of our today's class which is yield so guys 
firstly let's understand the definition what is yield so guys yield refers to how much money investors earn on a security over a designated period of time it is described as a percentage of the security market value or the initial investment as i already told you guys these formulas are basically used in financial dashboards and it is used by finance department so now let's go to the microsoft dax page and here you can also read the definition this formula returns the yield on security that pays periodical interest use yield to calculate bond yield so here is the syntax guys and we have to follow these parameters to calculate yield in power bi and these are the basis guys which we have to calculate according to your requirement and here is the formula guys so you don't need to afraid this formula because power bi will auto calculate yield and now let's go to the power bi desktop and here i have created one table so here is the table guys where i have taken purchase date maturity date face value purchase price years of maturity and coupon rate and now let's apply this dax function so firstly go to the new measure and under this dax function guys we have to quoted all columns in selected value so let me rename this formula as yield and now i will write my formula which is yield so the first parameter is settlement so firstly i will enter selected value here and the firstly i will enter the purchase date comma the second parameter is maturity so guys we have a maturity date here so firstly i will write selected value here and under selected value i will enter maturity date close the bracket and look at the third parameter guys which is rate so we have a coupon rate here so again i will enter selected value and simply enter coupon rate comma the next parameter is price under selected value i will enter price column close the bracket comma and the next parameter is redemption so we have a face value here guys so again i will enter selected value and now i will write face value and close the bracket comma the next parameter is frequency so here i have taken frequency as 1 and close the bracket and now go to the report view guys and let me copy paste this visual and let me remove this measure from here and this is the measure guys which we have created let me simply drag and drop it here so guys we can see the value which is 2.78 if you want to convert into percentage so simply go here and click on this percentage button so in this way guys we can use this yield function in power bi which is very easy to use to calculate yield i hope guys now you have cleared with these financial functions so keep practicing guys and keep learning and stay connect with us for more learning about power bi and those who are new to this channel kindly hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to press bell icon else you will miss an update and if anyone wants to learn power bi from scratch so here is the channel guys which name is power bi full course by shubham where you can learn power bi from scratch and under this 50 tutorials guys i have explained each and every concept in detail and we also provide paid training session as well as interview preparation so those who are interested for this you guys can connect me on linkedin linkedin link is given under the description box you guys can follow me there thank you so much guys for your more love and support keep learning keep growing thank you so much